Shalawam, Shalawam, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh Baisham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, right? And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days and i want to say to what yahawa to what yahawa by sham yahawa shai to what yahawa to what yahawa by sham yahawa shai for allow me for another day to be able to minister to the elect in hopes that they will be saved within these last days i better get the umbrella excuse me just a minute Better get that umbrella. Yeah. All right. Oh man, it's going to be an early morning. Variety of topics, variety of topics, various topics. Oh Lord willing, you'll be edified. Right? We have to learn to be emotionally balanced and look at everything that's happening, bro. We're in, we're in evil times. How else do you want me to? We're in evil, real, real, real evil times. I can't speak for every single brother in their life what's going on, but um, the war is real. The spiritual war is real. You have these people. They wanna, they wanna follow you about, you know, for something. <laughs> Even though you're not, fo you're not focused on them, but. Their whole energy is on one individual, right? We're talking about a lot of people, a network of demons, basically. They get on the phone, right? We're dealing, bro, we're dealing with, um, we're dealing with occultism, we're, we're against occultism. That's what's coming at you, occultism, right? That's what's coming at you, occultism, satanism, I keep telling you. Witchcraft, Ephesians 6 and 11, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities in high places. That's what we're against. That's what's coming at us. When, so when you go to a store and you see Juju man, right, man with Juju, with scars on his face, or whatever, or woman, right, dressing all black, what do you think, what do you think's coming at you? Witchcraft. When you may be sleeping, when you hear people sneaking past your gate, when you're sleeping, right? What do you think that is? It's witchcraft, right? When you see bottle fluids, people with fluid and spraying that fluid, what do you think that is? It's witchcraft, right? When you see people muttering, what do you think that is? It's witchcraft. Because these devils, they made a pact with the enemy, right? And now they're just doing his will. Yes, these are evil spirits. And the more we come into this truth, the longer we're in this truth, the more we're able to see these things as well. The longer we're in this truth, we can actually see the evil spirit behind someone. It's different, different discernment with, with, with different brothers. You can actually see it. Right? So this is real, real heavy. I always say this, real spiritual warfare. Right? Basically, they, they're trying to t they're trying to take you out. They're trying to accuse you before their heavenly Father. Yeah, bro, they may pull up, they may pull up to the house, slam the door. So what? Right? That's some passive aggressive bullshit. Right? That's that's what that's what tr that's what children do when they get pissed off. Right? Slam the doors. Right? The people that are doing these things, bro, they they're immature. They don't have a life. Right? How is it? What morning? It's early morning, and you go and park outside another man's house trying to get his attention. You a whole ass nigger. You are a whole ass nigger. And if there's a problem, come and speak to me. Right? All these people have all this energy. And it all goes into me. What, for me teaching the word? Because people, they, they love darkness, and they hate the light. Right? But it's all right, because we got to do what Yahweh tells us to do. This is getting real. This is getting real. Right? Come on. Isaiah 9. 
I'm 19, excuse me just a minute. Some more witches, hold on. Slacking, man. Slacking. Man. Hey, hey, these witches, man. You know? Bro, do you know what's going on? These are the same people that are... These are the same people that have technology, right? And can see through. They use different things. I want to get into it. Let the scriptures come out. Baba Kisha. We're going to go into why they're doing these things as well. But, yeah, there's technology placed. There's cameras placed. And, yeah, they can monitor you via astral projection not just astral projection through cameras and the worst scenario is a witch that has access to your house via camera because if they have access via camera if they can see what you're doing in your household that means they'll be able to know when you're not studying when you're not praying and be able to what throw up curses and do particular things but it's a blessing that we have your shy on our site yeah they have access they can also use the neighbors i see one woman one witch knock on a neighbor's house and when i got there she was she was all like crunched up yeah they're placing devices to watch you right i never knew i was that important right but this is what i'm doing i'm fucking up that excuse my name i'm fucking up your algorithm i'm fucking up this whole matrix because that's what it is it's a load of bullshit simulations theater right and people are buying into that rubbish so when i come around you're told to put on the theatre because I'm that important to you. Because I can see through the lies and the deception and you can't. And these people, they just play along. So they're a part of the problem. These are the people that need to be locked up. These are the people that are perpetuating that want this place to live on. Right? So yeah, they have access to certain brothers' homes and so forth. They can see what you're doing. Right? You know what that sounds to me? That sounds like some type of sex ring, trafficking, paedophilia type thing. That's what it sounds like. So that means they can see when you're when you're ripping your rod out. That means they can see when you're having a bath. It sounds like a trafficking organization. What it is, it's the occult. Right? And I've already told you, right? I see certain faces, and when I see these certain faces, you see them running in, running in and out of their apartments, you know, with their children running in. And a lot of these children don't even belong to them. A lot of these children are being trafficked. Right? Having them to do stupid stuff. Right? Think we can't see what's going on. Well, let's, let's quickly just park up at the apartment. Yeah, quick, quickly run in, knock, uh, buzz the gate. Dude, these people, they don't even live there. They've been moved into the community. These are witches, these are warlocks, these are sorcerers. Right? These are traffic, these are human traffickers. Right? These are blood drinkers. Okay, this is what's going on. And you know what? You know what I do? When you see it, it's beautiful because now you're able to attack it when you see where certain attacks are coming from. So what do you do? I'm going to let the scriptures come out. I'm talking too much. What do you do? You put up, bro, you put up prayers and you put up curses upon these individuals. That's what you do. Oh, no, that's harsh. Love your enemies. No, no, no. Loving your enemies are the enemies of your own nation. Right? You don't love someone that's trying to destroy you. And your surround, you don't love someone like that. Bro, you put curses upon them and their whole family, right? So they may learn not to do that, right? And the Lord could still have mercy upon them, right? But that's what you do. And if you ever want to go in deeper, if you have people having a gathering, going into this one building and having a gathering on you, trying to put curses on you, trying to put curses on your household, what do you do? You can put a whole curse, you, bro, you could put a prayer up that whole apartment. And things are going to start happening. Bro, it's spiritual warfare. It's, I know it's, it's, it's not fair, but you have to do what... We have to do what we have to do to protect our soul. Because they're coming after your soul. They, bro, there's something they want. There's some, Because you don't have people follow... There's something they want and it's your soul. That's what it is. Because you have not compromised. We're going to let the scriptures come out. I'm talking too much now. This is the reason why they do what they do. And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, retain is to keep this word, retain, hold, hold forth this word. The most high gave them up to a reprobate mind, which means void of judgment. 
so they avoid of judgment. They don't know what to do. They're reprobates. They're moving by the flesh. Void of judgment. Reprobate mind. To do those things which are not convenient. Bro, it's, it's not convenient to follow anybody around. It's not convenient. One o'clock in the morning. Let me just slam the door. See if I can get a reaction. You know when you do that? I'm actually inside. I'm laughing. I'm thinking, what a, what a stupid idiot. Don't you know the Lord's going to destroy this weak ass vessel? Because really, that's not them. That's Satan. So what is that showing me when someone's doing that? That's Satan behind them getting pissed off because you're bringing out the truth. And yes, they've been told to do that. A lot of these people, they have marching orders by Satan. That's not convenient. Now, if you're parking somewhere, you're eating. That's, that's something else. But to go out of your way to try to disturb someone else's peace. And that's another thing as well. Because they know we're peaceful, they want to use those tactics. But you're just, you're just fooling yourself. That's not convenient. To be on the phone, or oh, he's coming out of he's coming out of Tesco's, he's coming out of Lidl's. Would you walk here? Bro, that's not convenient. That's reprobate behavior. I said you couldn't pay me a million to do that. You couldn't pay me a million to do that. Right? These are these are demonic assignments. These are demonic assignments. And I've checked everything. My sin patterns, all of that. I'm I'm not sinning like that. So in terms of doors being open, I don't, I, there's no doors. I've, I've ticked off every box. I haven't opened up no doors. So it's over this. Someone sent that. Well, someone, someone did send it. Someone did send it because a monitoring spirit is sent. We're going to get into the scriptures. Someone sent that, right? Or it's by someone in your family line that has all these doors opened up and that didn't close them doors. And because we're next to you, or you may even be living with them. Now they can gain access to that vessel. Because this is how it works. So don't just think, well, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. These demons can also try to attach to you and get through other people. And you may need to look within the people that are closest to you. Who was the people that you grew up with? You may need to ask these questions. Who was the people you grew up with? When did you start to notice certain attacks and certain things that happened? When did you start to know, notice certain devices around your household? You have to ask these questions, right? So you can attack it. What? Well, doesn't matter. You're going to attack it in the spirit anyway, because you know what's going on, right? Bro, they're using radiation. They're using sound devices. They're trying to radiate you. They're trying to give you cancer. You even got people that come up to you, telling them, oh, you know, my parents have died, you know, of, um, of cancer. And bro, they're trying to put fear in you. They're trying to put, these are witches, these are warlocks. It's scripted things that they're told to say. Most, most of the people that come to you when you're teaching at camp, they've been told to come to you, to gather information. It's called monitoring spirits. So they were sent there by someone. Someone sent them, right? To monitor you, right? And I keep on saying, yeah, this thing is systematic, but more so, I've been noticing a lot of so-called, so-called West Africans with a headset and on the phone. No, 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 the targeting, it's all, it's all nations, but I've been noticing personally West Africans, so-called Nigerians, right? Mostly with, with me, I can't speak for any other brothers, with me, that's what I've noticed, right? Because these are all cult members. Remember, the church is brothers. The church is doing it as well and so forth because you're speaking the truth. So the churches don't like that. You do know there's pastors out there that can send people to do their dirty work. So that's what it is. That's what it is. The pastors are getting upset. Everybody on them high places, they're getting upset. Because we're fucking up your money. Because you're teaching lies. You teach the truth, then you wouldn't get upset. Ah, oh, no, um... He's messing up my money. I can't, I can't, you know, he's taking my followers and all that. So let's send spirits after him. Bro, this is even happening in the, in the churches. In the churches, they're putting spells on you. In them churches. I'm, I'm ranting too much. So like, I, there's just a lot on my mind and I'm just trying to keep it all intact. Right? These people, these people are bloodthirsty. They're devils, man. They're Satanists. They can't rest until they've done some wickedness. And they're getting their children to do the same things. I see these cars. 
right? I just pu pull up next to our apartment. I see the different cars. I see the black Volkswagen. I see the blue Mini, right? Some of these people are scientists as well. They have you on um, a supercomputer, right? Yeah, bro, they're reading your heartbeat. They're doing that. They're reading your heartbeat, right? If you're, if you're worried, if you're nervous, they're doing all these things, right? Another fucking idiot. Man, hey, the Lord's going to do it. We just got to stay calm because they want you to get out of character. You just got to let your Habashai deal with it. He controls both sides. But yeah, bro. No, I don't feel sorry for them. Because when your Habashai brings forth that judgment, it's going to be like, I told you so. Right? Romans. Baba Kasha. 20, these people don't have a life. These are the people that are useless. These people don't have a life. I'm laboring for your Habashai day and night. Day and night. I put everything into this. I put blood, sweat and tears into this. Right? These people are useless. And you're spending all your time on, on, on me. That much time. Hold on, I, th I, thought, I thought the elect were useless. So you, you're wasting that much time on someone that's... Fuck out of here. Right? It's because they find you interesting, even if you're not doing much. Because I don't really find my life, like, very, very interesting. But they do for some reason. They're demons. They don't have no life. They need to feed off energy. Being filled with unrighteousness, so that's what they're filled with. Fornication, wickedness, covetousness, and a lot of these people are covetous. They look in, remember, they have cameras in your house. And it ain't, it, bro, it's all types of people. Construction workers, yeah? Because as soon as you leave the house, they're in their van smiling. And a lot of them drive past that morning. They've been told to do that. Drive past his house that morning. Someone's telling these people to do that. Telling them. Drive past, speed past. These are fucking demons. Bro, but it's all going to be put to an end soon. You just have to pray to your Habashai. Pray. Right? As soon as, as soon as you leave the house, you see people in their van. Right? You see, yeah, bro, they're watching you. They're watching you in your household. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha. Wickedness, covetousness, they might want something you have. They might even want a possession that you have. Maliciousness. A lot of these people are very malicious. They say things under their breath. They utter things under their breath. Full of envy, murder, debate. And if they could, if they could, they would do that. If they could. That's why you have to stay prayed up. These are the criminals. Not, bro, not you that's serving your Hawashai. These are the criminals. Right? Especially if you've repented. You've got men that want to do that. Bring, bring up your sins of your past. Oh, he done this, he was smoking weed. He was stealing. But has he repented? Has he repented? So why are you still bothering that man if he's... You can see he's changed. You can see he's doing better. Oh, he done this a year ago. He done... Bro. But he's changed, right? What's he doing now? What's he doing now? You see how demonic people, they're demonic. Backbiters, haters of the most high, despiteful, proud, bolsters, inventors of evil things. So they come up with evil inventions and how they could try to disturb the elect. Disobedient to parents without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Yeah, bro, I'm noticing that a lot as well. And a lot, I'm just going to say it, bro. I'm going to, I'm, today... We're in that spit or we're in that mood. I'm just going to say it like this. A lot of these camps within Great Millstone, even in the UK, I'm not saying all of them, but even in the UK, a lot of these men are in a reprobate mind. A lot of them, a lot of them you have a shy, strip that spirit from them. Why? Because they were not dealing with their brothers with mercy. Yeah, all right. Yes, the Lord is a power of judgment. Yeah, we understand that. But they were not applying mercy. And they were probably doing something even worse. You've got men that will come to camp. Right? You've got men that will come to camp and bring out all these scriptures, be pompous. And remember that a lot of these men force themselves into the camps as well. So you had certain men that were begging, literally begging to get in camps to spy out other men's liberty. But just not that. Even before that, they were not really laboring for Yahawashai anyway. Then when they did get into the camp, they got proud. Like started boasting, and some of these men they have see, they have hidden sins that they're not confessing, hidden sins, because some things I've seen, got men coming to camp doing the vogue. 
you got men coming to camp doing the bulk, right? You you still got men that are in camps, right? And this is a bold statement. What I'm saying, a bold statement. What I'm saying, right? I'm saying this through the spirit. You got men that are in camp. I'm thinking about Great Moonstone, right? Okay, that are still delving into homosexuality or that word that were coming to camp that were still delving into that, and you still hugging a brother, bro. You have to repent from them. You have to repent from them, right? You got men that act like they're tough, but they're still soft. They're still emotional. They're still offended by the scriptures, right? And now I'm looking, and yeah, you do pray for certain brothers, but it's like, bro, two weeks, uh, the last video, nine days. Next video, three days. What's going on there? What's going on? I thought you love your have a shy. Men coming up to me. Oh, my faith is just here. It's just, it's just here. Well, 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 actions speak louder than words. You have to show that. Oh, my faith is just here. What? All right, let me just click on, let me click on your page. What, two weeks, one week? Oh, let me just upload the video. Excuse me. Let me just upload a video of camp and stick that on my page. Bro, that's not that's not enough. That's not you're not gonna get away with that. That's why, yes, certain men did creep into this truth. Right? So much things going on, so much things going on. Right? There was a war between the house of Saul. There was a war between the house of Saul and the house of David. Right? So the house of Saul, excuse me just a minute. So we're done with that, Baba Kishore. Baba Kishore. I'm just I'm jumping everywhere right now. Let's go to Samuel's. The house of Sal. Right? Excuse me just a minute, see if I can find it. And you had the house of David. Check this out. This is first Samuel 16. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long would I mourn for Saul, saying I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? So Saul was rejected. Why was he rejected? Because he was obeying. It was several times, not once, several times he was obeying the Lord's commandments through Samuel. He wanted to do his own thing. Right? You tell, example, you know if you tell them, bro, what's going on? You notice certain things. You're coming to camp, right? And he's like, how come these brothers ain't really, um, how come they're not really, they're turning up whatever times they want. They don't really care about the truth. They're doing lessons anytime they anytime it pleases them, not Yahweh Shai. They're lackadaisical. Right? So it's like the house of Sal, there was going to be a particular spirit, it was going to be disobedience. Because you also have leaders that would say, bro, that's not for you to say. That's that's not that's not your judgment to give um well when, when a brother does the work or not. Um you're right, it's Yahweh Shai's judgment. And what does Yahweh Shai say? If you love me, feed my sheep. That was a commandment. Because you got men saying, if you love me, keep my commandments. That is a commandment. So you would feed the sheep. You wouldn't do it at your own will. Because you fear you have a shy. And if you fear you have a shy, you're going to be in a spirit. Oh my God. What, it's been three, four days and I haven't studied, I haven't prayed, I haven't fasted, I haven't even watched a video. Bro, you're supposed to be in fear. Because that's the beginning of wisdom, right? So if you fear you have a shy, you're going to be panicking by that second day. Or maybe I should do something. Serve the Lord. Push out a video. You're going to be panicking. If you're in that right spirit. But if you don't fear the Lord. You're going to be showing the Lord that you don't fear him. Right? You know? Then that spirit starts to rub off on other brothers. Uh, okay? It starts to rub. Bro, I've seen it. I've seen it. Right? It starts to rub off on the whole camp. Now you've got a camp of lukewarm individuals. Right? Lukewarm individuals, a whole camp. Right? Seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel, filled our home with oil, and go and I will send thee to Jesse in Bethlehem, for I have provided me a king among his sons, which would be David. And Samuel said, How can I go if Saul hear it? He would kill me. Right? And it says, and the Lord Jehovah said, Take an heifer with thee, and say, I come to sacrifice to the Lord Jehovah. And call Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show thee what thou shalt do. And thou shalt anoint unto me him whom I named unto thee. And some he did which the Lord Jehovah shall spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming, and said, Comest thou peaceably? 
he said, peaceably I come to sacrifice unto the Lord Yahweh. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to, to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons. Right? And called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab. Right? Eliab. And said, surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said, I'm standing. I want to get to the point. Right? So, he went to the rest of the brothers. He had, what, six or seven brothers, King David? They were all two. I'm sure they looked apart, but he never picked them. He picked David. All right? So we went to that. Go to 1 Samuel 16 and 13. When Samuel took the horn of oil, anointed him in the midst of his brethren, and the Spirit of the Lord Jehovah like, came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Verse 14, but the spirit of the Lord Jehovah departed from Saul. It departed from Saul. It left him. Right? It departed, it left. Right? So it's the same thing that happens in this truth. Right? The house of Saul, the spirit was going to be departing from them. And you could also see who's you could have a good idea of who's the house of Saul and who's the house of David. Right? So is all is all of the house of is all GMS the house of David? No, no. Because you got uh, the house of David and Saul um, intermingled with each other, and that's why there could be so much friction amongst brothers. Because you may be you may have someone right, right beside you that's of the house of Saul, lukewarm, envious, all right, wicked our spirit. But the spirit of the Lord departed from someone, an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So he was troubled with this spirit. He was troubled. And I looked up this word when you go into a troubled. It was, it was an agitating type spirit. Right? He had, he had spirits upon him. He was being troubled. Right? From the Lord troubled him. Right? So he's being plagued by this evil spirit. And it says, And so servant said unto him, Behold now an evil spirit from the most high troubleth me. So he is being troubled by that evil spirit. Right? There's another word for it, but I can't come up with it right now. Alright? Oh, that's it. It's a distressing. It was a distressing spirit. It was demonic oppression. That's what it was. A demonic oppression. He was being distressed by that spirit. And you even see that, bro. I'm not this ain't this ain't personal. But you even see that with certain men as well. They're under a distressed spirit. Well then you need to ask yourself, well, why? You're serving your Havashai, right? Well, why, why would that happen? Because we all get plagued. But not to the point where you, you, you can't do the videos. Or you have an evil spirit every time you teach the video. Have you watched some of the Passovers? Have you watched some of the Passovers? Have you watched some of the videos at camps when brothers are gathering? They're in an the evil spirit. And let our Lord now command the servants which are before thee to seek out the money who is cunning play on a harp, and it shall come to pass when the evil spirit is from, evil spirit from the Mosai is upon me, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. Right? King David had that music, that heart to ease them spirits that were on Saul. Now let's go to Matthews. This lesson went a complete different way. Go to Matthew 7, actually 6 and 19. Lay not our fears or treasures upon earth. And this is spiritual. You know what just came to mind now? Now, what was Saul told to do? What was he told to do when he took over the Amakalite? Destroy the spoil. Don't take it. Destroy it. Right? Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth. That's what he was, that's what he was doing. Right? Where more from rust of corrupt. Well, we're not supposed to do that as well. I mean, thieves do not break through nor steal. Because thieves can break through and steal at any time. Right? For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where your treasure is, there your heart, your mind's going to be also. Right? 
The light of the body is the eye. If therefore the eye be single, that whole body shall be full of light. The light of the body is the eye. Your mind. If the whole eye be single, your whole body shall be full of light. So that was going to show us where you have this light, you have this radiance to you. Right? Certain men, their countenance turned dark. We're not talking about a dark camera because because sometimes I do videos and my countenance could be dark because the camera or it's getting dark out here or whatever. But I'm talking about just a dark presence. And that's why we need to be focused on Yahweh Shai because if we're not, that darkness can consume us, the darkness of this world. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither no moth nor dust corrupt. The light of the body is the eye, if that, therefore the eye be single. Thy whole body shall be full of light. Your whole body is going to be full of that light. It's going to be radiating light. Your whole body. Right? You're going to have an eminence. You're going to have an aura. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, check this out. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Your minds. That word for heart is mind, by the way. Your mind is going to be. Right? Your mind is going to be thinking up on that. Right? Wherever your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So, even in psychology, whatever you focus on the most, that becomes a part of you. So, we want to focus on this truth the most. Because you want that to become a part of you, right? So this is what we're supposed to focus on. Right? But if the eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. So if the eye is evil, your whole body is going to be full of darkness. That's going to be seen. This guy really has a dark, 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 dark countenance. Right? If therefore the light is in me, be darkness, how great is that darkness? So, says evil was eye towards... Saul's so, so eye was evil towards David, right? And that's why he was... He got really bad. He got really bad because Saul was scheming upon... All throughout the scriptures was scheming upon David. Right? Why? Because of the spirit that was upon him. Right? And he went off by also seeking a witch. Because nobody was um, answering him anymore. So he went to a witch. Right, he was not patient, and we're not supposed to be seeking familiar spirits, right? Because we know they're Satan's dealing with them, right? And quickly go into this, this shows you the hate that Saul has had. He couldn't shake that spirit, he just couldn't shake it. First Samuel 23, right? And jump straight to verse um, 12, right? Men said, David, will the men of Kilia deliver me and my men into the hand of Saul? And the Lord said, they will deliver thee up. So even David was inquiring how to move. Right? Um, when David and his men, which were about 600, arose and departed out of Kilia, and went with so they could go, and it was told Saul that David was escaped from Kilia, and he forbade to go forth. Kilia, if I'm saying it right. So this Saul, bro, this is real life. Situa this, is, this is real life. So men that have that spirit, what are they going to be doing? Bro, they're going to be seeking to slay you. This is real life. It's an evil spirit. So David had to move and David abode in the wilderness and in the strongholds and remained in the mountain of the wilderness of Ziph. And Saul sought him every day. Saul, sought, Saul was looking for King David every single day. Every single day. Well, what do you think he was looking for him for? What, to have a dinner? But the most I delivered him not into his hand because it wasn't the Lord's will. He's protecting David. And David saw that Saul was come out to seek his life. And David was in the wilderness of Ziph in the wood. And Jonathan, Saul's son, arose and went to David in the wood and strengthened his hand in the most high. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find me, and I shall be king over Israel. And I shall be next unto thee, and that also Saul my father knoweth. And they made a covenant before the Lord Jehovah. And David abode in the wood, and Jonathan went to his house. Right? Ren came up the Ziphites aside to Gibeah, saying, Doth not David hide himself with us in the strongholds in the wood? So they had word of it. In the head of Hekela, which is on the south of Jishim. Now therefore, O king, come down according to the desire of thy soul to come down. Our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hand. And Saul said, Blessed be ye of the Lord Jehovah, for ye have compassion upon me. 
go I pray prepare yet and know and see his place where his haunt is please this is where I want you to pay attention because a lot of things have happened I know it's not the last Passover it was the Passover what was I think two years ago now not the Passover that went the Passover before that this is when I know it's certain things I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say no names and it says see his place where his haunt is in other words where's his haunt where he's dwelling so if this is happening so if the soul if the house of salt is here today which they are why are you telling me they haven't done that it's nothing for a camp leader to say yeah we're, there's brothers that drive as well your driver seek out where his haunt is are you telling me they ain't mean so-called brothers in the truth that haven't went all across one part of london to another part of london to see where you're residing to see where you are that's why brothers you have to be spiritual this ain't just something to read and say right, put the book down these things have happened and now you wonder why your house has stripped the spirit from certain men because of their actions and it says and who have seen him there for it is told me that he deal dealeth very subtly right see therefore and take knowledge of all the lurking places it says see therefore so he sent his servants to look for these lurking places where david was residing so say you're living in a particular town village or wherever he sent out men to look to, to post up right so it's the same thing in cars bro even years ago bro there's so much visions i have i've even had visions of certain bro i've had visions of men that claim to be in the truth they were they were outside they were posted outside your town all these things have happened and these things get exposed and you wonder why men are in a reprobate mind now because what they were doing to other brothers all these things have been happening right they might try to look up where you are and you've had other men as well oh, look up where he is on google earth go on google earth you fucking reprobate see the lord knows how to expose people the elect have discernment so this is what has been going on right you've had men that have posted up night i'm talking about night time they've posted up yeah let's find his location that's the house of Saul. that's not the house of david and it says all the lurking places where he hideth himself and come here again to me with certainty make sure you're certain when you know where he's dwelling and i will go with you and it shall come to pass if you be in the land that i will search him out throughout all the um fountains of judah so Saul was saying when you come back to me it's just a certainty i'm going to come with you and we're going we gonna to search out this town wherever he is that's what's happened right i say i don't blame anyone else but a lot of uh suffering and persecution is from our own people men that claim to be in the truth some of the situations a lot of the situations you're in is due to other men in the truth as well they try to set you up for failing but if the lord's with you if your how way i says with you how can you fail oh there's setbacks and he arose and went to ziph before Saul. but david and his men were in the wilderness from mayan in the plain of south of jisham until he kept it moving so also when his men went to seek him and they told david therefore he came down into the rock and abode in the wilderness of mayan and when Saul heard that he pursued after David in the wilderness of Mayan, Saul went on this side of the mountain, and David and his men on that side of the mountain. And David made haste to get away for fear of Saul. So David kept it moving. And bro, this is gang stalking 101. Yeah, Saul was proper, proper on David. I always say, what's gang stalking? Gang stalking is, yeah, spiritual persecution. It's an obsession. It's an obsession with one individual. And it's a demonic obsession. So you have people out here, they have demonic obsession. Right? And it says, For Saul went on this side of the mountain, and David and his men on that side of the mountain. And David made haste to get away from the fear of Saul. For Saul and his men come past David and his men round about to take them. Right? Excuse me just a minute. There was something in Psalms I was thinking about. Let's see if I can find it. Bible for sure okay let's finish this up and it says brother Kishon, but there was a messenger unto Saul saying hasty and come for the philistines have invaded the land because at this time bro we were warring with the philistines when all this was going down we were still at war with the philistines right 
my hair is rolled up more and this is what I'm thinking about as well bro I'm dealing with so much different stuff and you still have to deal with flipping demonic ass men that don't want to use it we're dealing with all these things we're dealing with enough already right the other nations Esau witches and you still got demonic ass men in the truth that want to put more hell on you they're at what battle at, with, with the Philistine and Saul's looking to, to, he's thinking about David. He can't get his mind off David. And wherefore Saul returned from pursuing after David and went against the Philistines. Therefore they called that place Shala, Hama, Lakoth. And David went up from depths and brought in the strongholds of Engedi. Right? It was real, <laughs> it was real stuff that was going on. Excuse me just a minute. So we went to that Baba Kisha. Now, let's jump to Psalm 27, the prayer. Right? The Lord Jehovah is my light. We need to pray this as well. Psalms is powerful. We're going to shut off soon. And my salvation. So remember, Jehovah is a light unto us and our salvation. Whom shall I fear? Right? So, well, we're not supposed to fear man. The Lord Jehovah is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid? Right? And that's why demons, they were trying to gather, they were trying to circle you to what? To install fear. That's why they slammed doors to try to install fear. But to me, when I see that, it's like, bro, that's some petulant behavior. These are people that are not grown up in the mind. Right? Remember, they want a response. And if they can get a response, then you might come off that path. Don't give them a response. Verse 2, when the wicked, even my enemies, and my foes, right? wicked and even my enemies and my foes so yeah bro we have foes we have enemies we have enemies we have people that secretly watch your video they act like they're, they're not watching but they secretly watch your video with evil intent came upon me to eat my flesh they stumbled and fell so David said they stumbled they didn't succeed and though a whole should encamp against me my heart shall not fear a camp though a host host is a host of armies I shall not fear. And that's what they do. You got people, they just want to circle. Bro, you have witches and not witches, men as well. They just want to circle. Right? That's some ritual type shit. Right? They want to circle your household. Yeah, you can do that. But you're just walking around in circles like a zombie. And most of these people, they are under MK Ultra anyway. Right? Well, what's that going to do? Bro, you're just wasting your time. Right? You're wasting your time. Bro, war should rise up against me, in this will I be confident. So David went through the same things that we're going through today. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, Yahweh all the days of my life, and behold the beauty of the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh and to inquire on his temple. For in a time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, which is what a secret place. Right? In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. Bro, it's gonna come. Bro, you're gonna we're gonna see it. Right? The Lord knows that bro, the worst situations your house shall know how to de deliver us out of. Right? And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies, round, round about me. So King David was surrounded by enemies, by wicked people. Right? And it says, Baba Kishra, he shall set me upon a rock. Right? He went to that. And therefore, what I offer in his tabernacle, sacrifices of joy. And that's why we got to offer sacrifices of joy. I will sing here, yeah, I will sing praise unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, Yahabashai, when I cry with my voice. Cry out to Yahabashai. If you're going through things, if, if people are coming up, cry out to Yahabashai. And he will deal with it. Right? Have mercy also upon me. And this is important to pray for mercy as well. And answer me. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, Jehoshua, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. That has been my help. Because remember, he put, he saw what happened to um, Sal. Leave me not, neither forsake me on my power and my salvation. For when my father and my mother forsake me, and that also happens within this truth as well, because you, remember, you cut off certain ties right check this out Ren right Ren will the Lord you have to take me up 
So you become like, what's the word? Or like an orphan in some type of way. And the Lord takes you up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, you have a shy. Lead me in the plain path because of my enemies. Verse 12, deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. Baba Kasha. These are powerful prayers. These are powerful prayers. Deliver me not over the over to, unto the will of my enemies. Right? For false witnesses are risen up against me. And bro, this is what's happening as well. You have false witnesses. Right? You have false witnesses. They're trying to get you trapped up. For, for whatever reason. Because they're wicked. Instead of minding their own business. And even... Bro, and these people, they, most of them, they're not even repenting. That's the worst thing. They're not even repenting. But they're looking at your life. Oh, let's see if we can get some type of dirt or some something. That's that's demonic. That's don't you that's demonic. You think I'm staying up during the day thinking about oh this person or oh, what does he do? Oh what 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 sin what sins has he got? That's demonic. You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Right? For false witnesses are risen up against me, as such as breathe out cruelty. Right? These people they don't have no intentions of repenting, they're just wicked. And that's why you're watched a lot of the time because they're trying to find something that you're doing that's not so godly. That's why. That's why as well. So they can see, 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 he's, he's sinning. And I fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord Jehovah in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord Jehovah, be of good courage, and He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say. On the Lord, you have to wait up on your have a shy. Have you ever had the moments, bro? There's been the moments where it could be two weeks, three weeks, and you're completely you're feeling down. Then, for the rest, of, like, then you, the Lord just lifts you up. You have to just lift you up. That's how it is. You're gonna, we're gonna have our highs and lows within this truth, right? But that's a part. That's a condition of the battle. Excuse me. That's a condition of the battle. So, Lord, winning this was edifying. Lord willing this was edifying and until the next time shut the arm to the hopeful with it. Shut the arm.